Welcome to our channel. Today we're sharing six crucial tips to help you master the art of rooting plants commercially. Let's get started. The successful rooting of plants can be described as both a science and an art form. We are going to share the most important factors. And if you follow this advice, you will be super successful at rooting plants. Let's dive in. The first and perhaps most crucial tip is to start with high quality mother stock. The health and vigor of your mother plants directly impact the success of your cuttings. Make sure your mother stock plants are disease free, well nourished, and exhibit the desired traits. Healthy fast growing mother stock will lay the basis for success. Plants that are unhealthy or under stress will immediately impact the rooting success. Plants that are healthy will have higher concentrations of natural auxins that can increase root production. So tip one, choose healthy, happy, fast growing mother stock as your source of cutting material. Now that you have chosen your cutting source, let's move on to taking the cutting. Tip two, timing is everything in plant propagation. The best time of the year to take cuttings varies depending on the species, but generally, the active growing season is ideal. This is when plants are actively growing and the cuttings have the best chance to root. The best time of day to take cuttings would be early morning when plants are turgent and well hydrated. Natural auxins are also more prevalent in the early morning. Take your cuttings with a sharp secateur or knife. Cutting length depends on the species, but normally a cutting should be about 5 to 10 cm in length. If you are working with a large number of cutting, they can be bundled for easy counting and handling. After taking the cuttings, place it in a cool, shaded container. Household coolers work well. If it is really hot, place some ice in the cooler. It is important to prevent the cuttings from wilting, thus keep it at a humidity as close to 100% as possible. Keeping it in water for short periods can work, but long periods of oxygen deprivation will cause damage. Move the cuttings to a cool shaded area for sticking as soon as possible. The lower part of the cuttings can be wounded for increased hormone uptake and callus forming. Tip number three, cutting treatment. After you have gathered the cuttings, it is time to stick them. Use crates to transport and handle the cuttings. Sticking the cuttings is a two to three step process. Dump or dip the cuttings for one minute or less in the following solutions before sticking one, disinfectant two, Sufoil X or Xerotol 3, auxins. Auxins are natural plant hormones that can significantly enhance rooting. It is available in powders, gels, and liquids. Applying rooting hormones to your cuttings can stimulate root development and increase your success rate. There are various products available, from powders to gels, so choose one that suits your plants and workflow. The concentration will depend on your plant species and hardiness of wood. Anything from 1,000 to 3,000 ppm of indole butyric acid or 1 to naphthalene acetic acid should work. The rooting hormone can be applied as either a powder, gel, or liquid. A growing practice is to spray rooting hormones after the sticking of cuttings. If you are using a rooting powder, dip the lower 1 to 2 cm of the cutting in the powder before sticking. Next, we move on to the rooting mixture. The mixture should be well drained, still have good water holding capacity, and should have a low EC count with a pH range from 6.5 to 7. Peat, choir, vermiculite, sand and perlite mixtures work well and should be adapted to the species and rooting environment. A safe option is to buy a commercial seedling and rooting mix. Next, you will need containers to stick the cuttings in. The containers that you use for your cuttings will depend on the size of your cutting. The containers can be from black PVC or polystyrene. It is advisable to use cavity trays or flats to minimize transplant shock. The flats can be hand-filled or filling can be automated. The use of jiffies and grow coons is a growing practice and streamlines the system. Tip 5. The rooting environment. Creating the perfect environment is key to successful rooting. Here are the three main factors to consider. 1. Temperature. Most cuttings root best in temperatures ranging from 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 to 24 degrees Celsius. The use of bottom heat can increase rooting significantly, especially in colder regions. The use of a heat pump can cool down the air in the greenhouse and supply bottom heat in one go. 2. Humidity. High humidity levels, around 80 to 90 percent, are crucial for rooting. Use misting systems, fogging systems, or humidity domes to maintain moisture levels. These systems also help cool down plants by evaporating water from the leaves. 
These systems work on simple timers or probes for scheduling misting and fogging to maintain the perfect conditions for rooting. Humidity domes or covering of cuttings work well on cutting that do not like too much water or are susceptible to fungus with water on the leaves. Environmental factor number three. Light levels. Provide bright but indirect light. Too much direct sunlight can stress the cuttings, while too little light can slow down rooting. A plastic covered greenhouse works well, as it lowers light levels slightly and increases humidity at the same time. There you have the three crucial environmental factors that are important for rooting. Tip six, protecting your cuttings from pests and diseases is crucial. Maintain cleanliness in your propagation area and regularly inspect your plants. Using sterilized tools, applying fungicides, and keeping the area free from pests will help ensure your young plants get off to a healthy start. There you have it. Six essential tips for successful commercial plant rooting. By focusing on these key areas, you'll set your nursery up for success. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tips and tutorials. Happy planting. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.